Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series based on Vicki Borlaug's PowerPoint presentation on some addition rule, multiplication rule, complement, and conditional probability practice. This PowerPoint is a combination of some problems on those uh, topics and probabilities. I wish to thank Mrs. Borlaug for allowing me to use her PowerPoint presentation to make this set of videos on these problems. This video may help you decide which rule or principle to apply to your problems when they're not divided into their separate types. We will start with the following table as our sample space and we have as our example in a certain group of adults in a large city each owns a single economical vehicle and the type of vehicle owned by each person is given in the table above so we have motorcycles scooters and mini cars and we have divided our adults into three age groups young middle-aged and elderly and we have a list of questions here that we want to answer and if you're feeling uh, particularly um, I, I put challenge but if you and that's not the word if you're feeling uh, frisky I guess uh, particularly uh, uh, up to the challenge you might want to pause and try to answer these questions before you watch the rest of the video and part two of the video because um, you should be able to answer all of these questions we've just now mixed them up into uh, the set completely um, if you've watched the videos in order you should be able to answer them but I will continue and the first step is to fill in the table now Mrs. Borlaug always starts by filling in the grand total first and then the subtotals I tend to fill in the subtotals and then the grand totals but we all come out to the same end so the subtotals will add up the number of motorcycles that would be 16 plus 23 plus 8 which is 47 the number of scooters 21 plus 10 plus 5 which is 36 the number of mini cars which is 32 plus 18 plus 11 to give me 61 mini cars and then if I add 47 plus 36 plus 61 that would give me my grand total of 144 then I can also add up each age group for my subtotal 16 plus 21 plus 32 gives me a grand total a subtotal of 69 young people 23 plus 10 plus 18 gives me 51 middle-aged adults 8 plus 5 plus 11 gives me 24 elderly adults and if I added 69 plus 51 plus 24 that should also give me a grand total of 144 for my grand total and remember as you tackle these problems always tackle them one at a time and read each care question carefully question a one person is randomly selected find the probability that the person owns a scooter the probability of a scooter well how many scooters do we have 36 out of the grand total of 144 that's simply 36 over 144 put that in your calculator and that'll give you 0.25 question B one person is randomly selected find the probability that the person does not own a motorcycle probability of not a motorcycle well there are 36 scooters plus 61 mini cars so that would be 36 plus 61 would be 97 out of the 144 
for a grand total of 140 out of the grand total of 144 so 97 divided by 144 gives us 0 0.6736 and be sure that you check with your teacher about your rounding rules every teacher has a different set here you just want to be sure to follow your teachers guidelines now notice here that there is a different way to do this. I just love the little girl when she says, or, because she's saying, or there, you could have done this problem this way. Since it says not, this could be done with the complement rule. And the complement rule says to find not a motorcycle, we can do one minus the probability that it is a motorcycle. And the number of motorcycles is 47 out of the grand total. So 1 minus the probability of a motorcycle is 1 minus 47 out of the 144, or one, uh, 47 divided by the 144, which still gives us a final answer of 0 0.6736. The same as we got before. The two methods, same answer, either way will be fine with your teacher. Now, on to question C. One person is randomly selected. Find the probability that the person is elderly and owns a mini car. The key word in this question is the word and. I like the notation that we've written here because it will help you to take ownership of the problem. When the problem is written in someone else's word, it is their problem and I'm trying to solve it. But writing it in my words and my notation, I can make it mine. So by writing the notation and creating the tables, you begin to take ownership of the problem by shading the tables and looking at the numbers. That's the way that you can understand the problem on a deeper level. The notation doesn't have to be fancy or even as complete as what Mrs. Borlaug has shown here. You could just use abbreviations or letters and not make the whole words or write out the whole words. But it will make the problem your own. Now, enough of chasing that rabbit and back to this problem. We are looking for elderly and mini cars. Let's highlight and shade the groups that we're looking at. So we have the elderly and the mini cars. Remember what and means. And, as from a previous video, you should remember is the intersection of two events, where they both cross or where they both overlap. And the overlap here would be the 11 adults that both are elderly and own a mini car. And that would be out of our grand total of 144, which would give us 11 divided by 144, or 0 0.0764. One person is randomly selected. Find the probability that the person is young or owns a scooter. So let's do problem D. What is the key word in problem D here? It's the word or. Remember that or is the intersection. And is the word, excuse me, I said that wrong. Oh, dear me, don't listen to what I just said. Listen to what I'm going to say now. And is the intersection, and or is the union. Or is the union. I wrote it down wrong in my narration. Or is the union of young and scooter for our particular problem. As we circle the groups that we're looking at, and let me do that, notice that we want to shade 
everything, everything that is Young or Scooter would be what we're looking for. It is the union of these two groups where AND is the intersection or is the union anything on either row young or column scooter fits our description of young or scooter and it would be out of our grand total of 144 and we could just add up those numbers that we've highlighted that would be 16 plus 21 plus 32 plus 10 plus 5 all over 144. That would give us 84 out of 144 which gives us 0 0.5833. Oh there she is again. There's our OR girl and she's going to tell us that we could use subtotals with the addition rule instead of adding up the individual numbers. Remember that the sub addition rule would say that to do an OR, OR means to add. So we could add the probability of being young to the probability of being a scooter, just remembering to subtract out the overlap of being the probability of young and scooter that we've added twice. So we have highlighted the groups so that you can see which groups we're talking about, the young and the scooter. And the total on each of those is the total, subtotal for young is 69 and the subtotal for scooters is 36. And the overlap, the and, where you're both a scooter and young is 21 and again the grand total of 144. So the probability of being young is 69 out of 144 plus the probability of a scooter is 36 over 144 minus the 21 that we would have added twice in the subtotal. So we subtract that 21 out once so that we've only added it that one time. And 69 plus 36 minus 21 still gives us 84 divided by 144 which is 0 0.5833 and it gives us the same answer. Okay, let's do question E. One person is randomly selected find the probability that the person owns a motorcycle given that the person is elderly. The key phrase in this problem is the phrase given that. When you see the phrase given that we know something has already occurred. We already know that the person in this case is elderly. And I literally, when I'm doing this problem, cover up the other parts of the table. Miss Borlaug has put a big X through it. I will probably unhighlight it and just highlight the elderly part of the table so that that's all you see. But we're only looking at the elderly and we want to find out the motorcycles from the elderly. So how many motorcycles do we have? Eight out of the 24 elderly. We're no longer looking at the grand total so that would be 8 out of 24 or a probability of 0 0.3333. And at this point I'm reaching the 15 minute mark so I'm going to close out this video and we will pick up right where I left off. Thank you for watching part one of this video series on the many different types of probability. If you need more help and are a Walter State student, please come by the Math Lab in MBS 222.